I'm going to tell you the story of the very first magic show I ever did. I was 12 years old, and I did the show right out of this little box. I made it myself. There was about 12 people gathered around in my parents' living room. And inside the box, I had some playing cards. Now, mind you, when I was 12 years old, the cards looked like regular size playing cards. But because I was 12, you know, they, they looked bigger. Now, watch close. I had one, two, three, four, five cards. I placed one of them away, and yet even though I placed one of them away, I still had one, two, three, four, five cards. Everyone was so amazed. They all threw their hands up in the air, and they said, that's amazing! Yeah. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'll tell you what, most of you had your hands up. Most of you were getting excited, but not all of you. But I don't blame you. I think it was the story. I'm going to tell you a slightly different story about the very first magic show I ever did. I was just six years old <laughs> when I did my very first magic show. I didn't know how to spell when I was six. It took me a little time. There was about a hundred people gathered around in my parents' living room. My mom was getting nervous. We were running out of juice. <laughs> I took one, two, three, four, five humongous cards, little tiny six-year-old hands, and I placed one, two cards away inside the box. And yet, I still had one, two, three, four, five cards, and everyone said, That's amazing! Yeah. All right, we got most of you that time. Most of you. Jason, were your hands up? That was weird. Yes. Okay. That's so weird. We're going to do this one last time. One last time. This time, slightly different story. Oh, I'm a Oh, oh yes, we do have some cards inside the box, but I'm going to do a slightly different story. Very first magic show I ever did. I was just three years old. I, I didn't even know how to make words yet. I wasn't very advanced. And I had one, two, three, four, five humongous cards, little tiny three-year-old hands. About a thousand people gathered around in my parents' living room. Mom, let's get something inside the box. And, and I took one, two, three, four, five, <clears throat> six, seven, Eight. What? Nine cards. I didn't know how to count when I was three. <laughs> so I took five cards and I placed nine of them away. <laughs> and yet I still had one, two, three, four, five cards. And everyone was so amazed when all the cards disappeared that everyone said, that's amazing! Thank you very much. Give yourselves a big hand. Oh my God. That's a true story. Well, it's about 50%. I want to. I want to get something at the end. That was fake. That was real. That was real. So, when I was, when I was a little boy, that's when I started learning how to do all of my magic tricks. Now that I'm older, I'm still doing magic shows. But what I do now is I use my magic to share words of positivity. Uh, I want to get something out of the box. 
Oh, there's nothing else in the box, though. <laughs> All right. But I have some note cards. Note cards. And on these note cards, I have some ideas that can help us live a more positive life. And the magic tricks that we're going to take part in today, that we're going to see, are going to talk about these positive words. One of the ways to be positive is to listen to others so that we can understand them. Right? Another idea is to choose positive words. Choose good words that will help us. The other idea is to help others. We can't do everything ourselves, right? So we have to be able to help others when we're able. Oh, this is one of my favorites. <laughs> do your best. Always do your best. And last but not least, never give up. These are the ideas we're going to talk about today in the magic show. So who's ready for the next magic trick? Woo! We're all so polite. <laughs> What's that? You ready? And let's see. Uh, oh, let's see. What's your name again? Yeah. Christopher. Christopher. All right, Christopher. Will you help me out with this magic trick? You can come up here. Give Christopher a nice big hand. Christopher, well, there's going to be more magic tricks, but let's try this. Oh, here it is, Christopher. Do you like, do you like jokes? Yeah. Have you ever read this book before? This is this is destined to be a classic book. I wrote it. Knock knock. No, 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 no. Do you know some jokes? <laughs> All right, let's hear your joke. <laughs> What's your joke? Not, not. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? You should buy a banana before. <laughs> 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 oh, high five, high five. <laughs> That was a very appealing joke. <laughs> I, that just... I don't know, I don't know. All right. Christopher, I'm going to flip through the pages. Oh, I have, I have a bookmark. It's a joker. Christopher, I'm going to flip through the pages of the book. Wherever you say stop, I'll put the bookmark in. And that will be your page. All right? All right? Christopher, just say stop. Stop. Right here. Bookmark goes in. You're going to look at the very first word of the page. All right? Look at the very first word of the page. Don't tell me what it is. Do you see the first word? All right? All right? I'll show you as well. Don't tell anyone else. First word. No peeking. No One last time, you see it? All right. Christopher, you can hold on to the book. Inside this pocket, I have a word written down on a piece of paper. Do you think it's possible that the word written down on this piece of paper is the word that you just saw in the book? Is that possible? It, it is possible. <laughs> Because it's a magic show. <laughs> Anything is possible. Christopher, as soon as you say what your word was, I'm going to pull the piece of paper out of my pocket. I'm going to open it up, and we're going to show everyone your word written on that piece of paper. Are you ready? You ready? All right. You may say your word now. Eat. The word was eat. And on the piece of paper, inside my pocket, we have, uh-huh, uh-huh, look at that. On the piece of paper from my pocket, is, the, is that your word? Is that your word, eat? Isn't that amazing, Christopher? <laughs> 
Some of you are horribly disappointed. <laughs> You think, thank you, thank you. Now, I did say it would be a piece of paper in my pocket. I didn't specify it would be an entire dictionary, right? We found your word, there it is. <laughs> However, that was the joke. We're going to get serious now, because inside of the dictionary, on the back cover, we have another little magic card. And on this magic card is written your word. It's written in code. <laughs> A code that only I know how to read. <laughs> but you believe me, Christopher, right? That this says, what was your word again? It was, it was eat? Was it eat? Look at that. It says eat in code. Would you like to learn how to read the code? Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm going to tell you anyway. I appreciate the honesty. You see, this is how it works. Remember, to be positive, we have to listen to others and we have to understand what they mean, right? Right? So I'm going to help you understand this. This code is P89RCE16. The way you read this is the P89 stands for page 89. Page 89. Christopher, can you please tell us, this is opened up to your word. Is that page 89? Is that what that says? Does that say 89? Yeah? Oh. Let's look what the RC means. The RC means right column. Oh, on page 89 is your word in the right-hand column. Is this the right-hand column? Yes? Is that the right-hand column? Yes. Yeah. Ooh. Last one. E16. That means entry number 16. Christopher, you're going to count with us. Count starting right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. What word is written at entry number sixteen? What word is that? E. <laughs> Let's give Christopher a nice Woo! big hand. You may keep the book as a souvenir. Thank you so Aww. much. Aww. <laughs> One more big hand for Christopher. <laughs> so in order to be positive, what we have to do is we have to understand what everyone is saying, right? There are so many ways of saying things. And what one word might mean to someone, to someone else, it might mean something completely different. So by taking the time to understand what people mean, we'll have a much more positive experience. Because a lot of negativity happens when we misunderstand what we say, right? So positivity is about taking the time to really listen and understand where people are coming from. All right, for my next magic trick, I have, it's kind of a, it's kind of a riddle. Do we like riddles? Yeah. yeah. I do. Yeah. Some of you like riddles. Some of us don't like riddles. I like riddles. You like riddles? I hate riddles myself. <laughs> I can never figure them out. Well, what's your name again? It's... Michelle. Michelle. All right, Michelle? You can come up here. Give Michelle a nice big hand. Let me get this out of the way. Right over here. Michelle's going to help us out with this riddle. Oh! Oh! This riddle this. involves this uh, yeah. magic napkin. With a knot tied in the napkin, oh, with a knot tied in the napkin, is it possible to get the knot out without me untying it? Is it possible, Michelle? Yeah. That's right, it is possible. At first sight, it might not look possible, but you understand. 
There is a way to solve this riddle. Some people might say, if the rule is that I can't untie it, well, I could just have you do it for me, right? And that's what we're going to do. You're going to help us out with this. But to do it, we need a magic wand. Oh my god. This, oh my god. This is my magic wand. Michelle, you're going to take the wand and you're just going to give the wand a little wave. When you wave the wand, the knot will come off the napkin without us untying it. Is everyone ready? Yeah! Are you sure? Yeah! Are you positive? Yeah! As you're sure. You may take the wand, Michelle. You're going to take the wand and just give it a little wave. Oh, just like... Oh, no. no, Michelle, you're supposed to... <laughs> <laughs> we have two wands. Yeah, right. no. Hold on to this wand in your other hand. Then. Take the wand with your other hand. Just give it a little wave. Oh. Just... <laughs> Over here, take that wand, just give it a look. <laughs> oh. All right, one, two, three, four. Yeah, hang on to this one, take that wand, just sort of give it a little. Oh, oh. You're running out of hands. All right. We're gonna need we're gonna need a friend wow. to help us out. We have we have lots of friends. All right, let's do the mini 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 mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. That sounds really dangerous. Why would we catch a tiger by the toe? I hope the tiger doesn't hurt us. Mini 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 mo. No. What's your name? Felix, come up here, Felix. Give Felix a nice big hand. We're going to have Felix hang on to some of these wands. <laughs> All right, take your wand. Take this wand, too. You're just going to... Oh, come on! <laughs> right, come on right over here, Felix. Come right over here. All right. Uh, you're going to... You have three. You have two. And it's... <laughs> We're out of wands. All right, Felix. Michelle. All you have to do on the count of three... You're gonna oh come right over here, come, come right over here so that everyone else can see. Alright. You're gonna wave the wand. We're all going to say the magic words. When we do, we're not going to untie the knot, but we are going to be able to get the knot out without untying. But all you have to do is wave the wand and we'll say the magic words. Oh, you know what the magic words are, right? Yeah. No. You know what they are, but you oh, okay. Tell Felix what the magic words are. That's exactly right. It's magic words. <laughs> We're going to say the magic words. She's paying attention. <laughs> All right, on the count of three, is everyone ready? Yeah! I think you are. All right, on the count of one, two, three. Wave the ones, wave the ones. Wave that one too, wave. Wave, wave all the ones. Oh, yeah. The magic words. I'm tired. Watch close. Without untying it, watch what happens. those wands. I thought I only had one wand. And can I get a high five? And you may have a seat as well. One more big hand for our team. Yeah.
toes. That's one way to do it. <laughs> one more big hit. You guys did a good job. Thank you very much. Oh my God. They're so silly. They're so silly. Where did you find them? <laughs> All right. To be positive, to live a life of positivity, sometimes we're going to need help from our friends, right? Sometimes we're going to have to, we're not going to be able to do everything ourselves. So a part of living a life of positivity is being able to ask others for help. But sometimes our friends are going to be the ones who need the help. So we're going to have to step up to help them out. Let's take this a step further. In order to live a life of positivity, we have to focus on the positive. Now that was kind of a riddle. This is another kind of, of riddle. But this uses a magic cup. Everyone go. Let's go over here. What's your name? Jasmine. Jasmine. What does this say? Winter bliss. Is that what your shirt says? I like that. You may come right over here, Jasmine. All right, Jasmine's going to take a look inside of this cup. You may hold on to the cup. Is anything inside there? There's nothing, right? <laughs> nothing inside there. All right. Oh, I almost forgot. I also have... Oh, God. A little red ball. You may hold on to the ball. Is that is that a real magic ball? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if it looks like a cat's toy... Purely coincidental. <laughs> I'll give it back to Gypsy no. later. Alright, watch close. The ball goes inside the cup. Can you see it inside the cup? Can you see it? There it is. There it is. It really is inside there, right? Watch close. The ball goes inside my pocket. I'm going to try and sneak the ball out of my pocket and get it back oh. underneath the cup without any of you seeing. Vienna. <laughs> Make sense? Are you folks ready? Yes. yes. Are you sure? Yes. yes. Would you like to see that again? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna do this again. <laughs> Watch close. Can you see the ball in there? Is it there? There it is. There it is. It really goes inside the cup. Watch close. The ball goes inside my pocket. Now this is where I get nervous. <laughs> because you're so excited. <laughs> but also because you've seen me do this twice. You've seen me do this twice already. You might be catching on to what I'm doing. When I place the ball inside my pocket, you didn't see me place the ball inside my pocket. I only said that I was, right? The logical thought then is that the ball never left the cup. Let's take a look and see if the ball is underneath the cup. I mean, it's not. <laughs> the ball really is inside my pocket. But this is what I wanted you to understand, Jasper. This is what I wanted us to understand. Magic reminds us to always be open to surprise. If we thought the ball was going to be underneath the cup, I would have showed you that it was actually inside my pocket. But if we thought it was inside my pocket, I would have showed you that it was actually underneath the cup this whole time. Let's give her a nice big hand. We just want to break down. One more big hand for Jasmine. Yay. Very nice job. And this is what is so important about positivity. It's about our focus, where we're focusing our attention. We can focus our attention on the bad things that happen in our lives. Or we could focus our attention on the good things. We can focus on the wonder and the beauty and the surprise of everything. What this trick reminds us, though, is that sometimes things aren't always as they appear. I think we probably know, since you've seen me do this twice, there's more than just the ball. And there's more than just the cup. What do you think it is? Yeah. Can you make it more? Can I make it, can I make it more? Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, I suppose we can get more. us lemons. Have you heard this saying before? Yeah. When life, some of you have? Yeah. When life gives us lemons, what do we do? We eat it. Well, we eat it. <laughs> <laughs> you just eat it anyway. As the, where do you find them? Seriously, When life gives us lemons, the saying goes, we make lemonade. We take a sour situation and we make something sweet out of it. It's about what we choose to focus on. Let's take this another step further because I have a magic trick that when I was a little boy, this was a magic trick I never thought I would be able to do. I've seen other magicians do it. I've seen people on TV do this. I read about it in books and I never thought that I would be able to do this trick. What I decided to do was just because it looks like a hard thing to do, just because it looks difficult, that doesn't mean that I can't try. So I'm going to show you that magic trick today. And it's a card trick. We get my deck of cards. Do we have any card players? Who likes to play cards? Some of us like to play cards? All right, let's see. Let's go. Over here. You can stay there. You can stay there. But I'm going to shuffle the cards. I'm going to shuffle. Wherever you say stop, that'll become your card. Right? So uh, so just say stop at any point you like. Just say stop. Right here. Right here. Look at your card. Don't tell me what it is. Don't say it. All right? I'm going to show it around so the people around you can also see. All right? I need you to do me a favor. Point to someone else here. Choose anyone else. Who would you like to have help out with this one? Christina. Christina, over, over here, right? Christina, I'm going to shuffle the cards. Just say stop. Right here, look at your card. Don't tell me what it is, but you look at it yourself. I'm going to show the people around you yeah. as well. And we're going to get one last person to help out. Point to anyone else here. Choose anyone else you'd like. Who would you like to have help out? Angel. No. What's your name? Angel. 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 I'm going to shuffle the cards. You just say stop. Right here. Take a look at your card. Don't tell me what it is. I'm going to show you, show the people around you, and I'm going to take the cards, I'm going to place them back. I want you to do me a favor. Yeah. Take the cards. You give them a little mix. You give them a little shuffle. So now we had three cards picked. Three different cards. The cards are being shuffled now. There's no way that I can know what those cards are, and now there's no way I could know where they are. <laughs> to finish this trick, I'd like to invite my buddy Jason back up here to help us out. Give Jason a nice big hand. Oh, and I'm going to have to take this off. I'll, I'll give this to you, Jason. You can put that, that on. Where? Because to finish this trick, I need to put on a special costume. I'm going to put myself, with Jason's help, inside of the straight jacket of mystery. That's a problem. I'm going to turn so everyone can see what we're doing. There's a bunch of buckles on this jacket. Jason's just going to pull those buckles really tight, as tight as he can. He's going to work it from the top all the way down to the bottom. And once he gets all the way down, there's these last, <laughs> these last straps. 
and he's going to tie my arms together as well. How many of you, by show of hands, how many of you have ever seen or heard of Harry Houdini? How many of you have heard of Harry Houdini? No. I hear that. Some of you have, but many of you haven't. Houdini is a magician. He used to escape from straitjackets. He could escape from handcuffs. He could escape from jail cells. He could get out of anything. But he was also a card player. He could do amazing card tricks. So I'm combining Houdini's biggest stunt, escaping from the straight check. Okay, the, the last ones with the arms. Pull those ones tight. Oh, let's see. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you don't like me, do you, Jason? Yeah. Oh, like. <clears throat> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know if I'll be able to get out now. <laughs> So we're going to see if I can escape from the straitjacket and find those three cards. Jason, I would shake your hand, but I can't, so I'll give you the little other. Thank you. And you may have a seat. Big hand for Jason. You still have those cards? If you could put those cards back into the rubber band and then you may place the cards onto the stool and thank you very much for your help. Give her a nice big hand. All right. On the count of three, we're going to time and see how long it takes me to escape. Houdini used to do this in just under two minutes. I'm going to see if I can break that record or break my own personal record of just under two hours. <laughs> Whichever comes first. Two hours is way too long. We have got to get on the bus. It's Friday afternoon. Uh, I might be here alone. <laughs> on the count of three, is everyone ready? This is funny, don't you?
And I found three <coughs> cards. This would not be a very good trick if those weren't the very three cards that we had chosen a moment ago. If you chose a card, there should be three of you. Raise your hand if you chose no, a card. No, no. Let's see, it was over here, over here, and who else? Christina. Christina, all right. So keep your hands up if you chose a card so we can see where you are. All right, I'm going to say these three cards. When you hear your card, you're going to put your hand down. Are you ready? Wait, 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 they didn't see. If he says your card, your hand goes down. But keep it up. But so keep it up for now. now. All right. Your card. Yeah. Not, not you. Someone else's cards. Yeah. Who chose the three of clubs? <gasps> that was your card? No. No. <laughs> that wasn't your card? That was your card. <gasps> High five. That was your card. I was in a straight jacket. <laughs> from a shuffle deck of cards. I know. All right. Who chose the king of hearts? That was your card? That was yours? High five. High five. Give her a nice big hand. Oh my goodness. Last but not least, this has to be your card, right? This is the honest one, right? Always honest, right? Your card. The jack of spades. That's your card, right? No, that's not my card. That wasn't your card? No. Are you sure? No. Really? No. That's your card? No. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, you know, this reminds me of the famous saying by the great American philosopher. The philosopher said, two out of three. <laughs> Ain't that? <laughs> You've heard of this. The great American philosopher Mimo. Two out of three. Put another way, when life gives us lemons, what do we do? Eat it. We eat it. <laughs> oh, no. we make, make juice. Make juice. We make lemonade. lemonade. We take a sour situation and we make it better. But here is the deepest secret that nobody knows. And here is the wonder that's keeping the stars apart. Whatever your lemon is, is precisely what you must face. Because when you do, when you get to the very core, you will find there waiting for you what you've been looking for this entire time. What card did you choose a moment ago? Uh, was it four? A four? Was it a, a diamond, a heart? What was it? A four? Uh, a club? A spade? What was it? Uh, Do you remember? Uh, I think it was a spade. A spade? Maybe. Was it? I have the four of hearts. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That was it. <laughs> And that's me. Give him a nice big hand. Wow. Is it the lemon? <laughs> well, you folks have been truly, truly a lot of fun. I hope you learned something today about the importance of positivity. Always doing your best. Never giving up. Helping others when you're able. And being sure to always understand what other people mean. My name is Jonas Kane. Thank you so much for having me today. Oh, wow. Thank you. Yeah.